day in the life of Fighting Island, an environmental partnership. Fighting Island is a jewel located in the heart of the Detroit River ecosystem. The 1,500-acre island is located between the shores of Wyandotte, Michigan and LaSalle, Ontario. Originally settled by the French in the 1700s, Fighting Island has had many owners over the years. It was in the late 1700s when native people named it Fighting Island because they used the island to attack passing British ships. In 1918, the island was purchased by John B. Ford of the American Alkali Company and was used for the disposal of alkaline byproducts, primarily from the manufacture of soda ash and other lime-based products. Disposal occurred in three settling beds on the southern three quarters of the island. These settling beds were active from 1924 to 1982. Byproducts were pumped in slurry to Fighting Island where they were allowed to dry and decant. Starting in the mid-1970s and continuing today, BASF actively encourages revegetation on Fighting Island. The early efforts targeted increasing the stability of the perimeter containment dikes. The revegetation goals expanded steadily to include reducing dust problems, increasing wildlife habitat, controlling runoff, and enhancing the physical appearance. Overall vegetative cover on the southern three quarters of the island increased from less than 40% in 1987 to nearly 80% by 1997. The fruits of these rehabilitation efforts decreased runoff of alkaline waters into the Detroit River, decreased incidence of dust rising from the lime beds that once caused a problem for local residents, increased habitat for wildlife, increased habitat for resident and migratory birds, and a more aesthetically pleasing appearance for residents on both sides of the Detroit River. I think it's really encouraging that the island is turning around. It's taken a long time for it to get to this point, and it'll take a long time for it to get to be probably self-sufficient, but it's well on its way. Beginning with a pilot project back in 2004, a very unique partnership with the Greater Essex County District School Board and BASF has opened Fighting Island as a living classroom to thousands of local students, 13,000 as of November 09. The facilities on Fighting Island are very impressive. All of the buildings, docks, paths, boat transportation, island transportation, and operating costs, including the maintenance of buildings, improvements, power, water, and all other other associated costs of operation are provided by BASF. BASF is also financing and completing the construction of the planting project, which will display exemplar plants for students and visitors to view and study, as well as the experimental plants for students. BASF also provides two bursaries of $500 US, one for university and one for college, specifically for grade 12 students that are continuing their studies in areas dealing with the environment. The tug service that BASF provides to transport students, teachers, and supervisors to and from the island is based on the time schedule requirements of each school. The dock is conveniently located in LaSalle. Some of the activities students participate in include water collection and testing, soil sampling and testing, plant collection and pressing, planting seeds, insect collection and study, the study and identification of plants and animals for population counts, nature hikes, animal tracks, marsh, canal, and river study, bird watching, snake watching, and animal watching. I'm very grateful for BASF to take this initiative, uh, you know, to put into uh, the resource and effort to provide such an opportunity to the students. On the island, there are two buildings or school labs available. Each one is fully equipped with monocular and stereoscopic microscopes, data projectors, computers, PASCO GLX probeware, water and soil testing kits, field manuals, GPS units, and much more. The north building is on the power grid and water system. It has wireless internet and is home to the Fighting Island Weather Station, which broadcasts to our board's website. The south building is completely off the power and water systems. Electricity for the building is supplied through the use of solar cells and a wind turbine. These produce enough power to recharge the batteries that supply power to all the building technical and scientific systems, even the lights when needed. The water for the building is supplied from rainwater collected from the roof and stored in a central water tank, which is gravity fed to the building. 
BASF's generous offer to promote ecological studies on Fighting Island provides our students with a unique opportunity to practice and do real science in a real-world environment. It is an opportunity to bring the curriculum from the classroom to the field and allow students to apply in a tactile way all that they have learned. BASF should definitely uh, continue with this educational program because I would have never by myself or with my family come out here and I've learned so much today that more, so much more than a textbook could ever teach me or even my teacher Mrs. Munson could show me in a classroom and it just, um, we're doing ecosystem projects in school and enclosed ecosystem and this has really given me a lot of great ideas on how the ecosystem works together and um, how animals are always dependent upon each other because you're actually in in uh, a little environment by itself because it's surrounded by water like this and because it's so close to home it's just so convenient and really educational. The curriculum for this program was designed to maximize the learning experience. The ecology strands in grades junior kindergarten, senior kindergarten, 1, 7, 8, 9 and 10 were rewritten using the Ontario Curriculum Science Expectations and incorporating Fighting Island as the central theme. By structuring the curriculum to focus on the island, all classroom work and lab activities result in student-driven reports that become part of a scientific collection of findings and observations that help to determine future educational programs and reclamation activities for the island. The educational program on the island has been recognized twice, 2005 and 2007, by the Wildlife Habitat Council's Corporate Lands for Learning International as the best environmental program in a corporation partnership. I think the kids need to see more than just the textbook. They need to come out here, see the actual environment that they have around them, see the animals, see the insects, see the plants, and see what impact we could be having on that. The students and teachers of the board have both enjoyed the benefits of the partnership with BASF. The students through their hands-on real science experience and the teachers through their students' increased interest in science, their own professional development in outdoor field studies, ecology, and the environment around them. Many may see Fighting Island as a small, insignificant island with little value, but through our partnership with BASF, we have proven that this island may hold the key to ecological rejuvenation for other areas of the world. Proudly, our students have been in the forefront of these studies, and who knows, maybe one of them will be the David Suzuki of their generation, thanks to the start they received here on Fighting Island. What is done for us as a board has given a truly unique opportunity to our students. Um, the opportunity to uh, investigate and do real hands-on science for our students on a distressed area, a site that really can benefit from the creative thoughts of our kids and critical thinking, has given uh, our kids a completely different dimension in their curriculum and their education because now they're seeing that they can solve problems, that nothing is hopeless, that things can really, that their applied knowledge can actually yield uh, true benefits that they can see year after year when they come back to the island. So it's been invaluable as far as the uh, partnership. Uh, BASF has certainly been the ideal, absolutely ideal partner uh, in that uh, their priority is our kids learning. And so uh, they share the same uh, goal that we do as an educational system. Mm -hmm.